Mary Kay is here now tracking the weather, including this rain eventually turning to snow for some parts of the area. Right, and some of it measurable snow overnight. But right now it is a tale of two seasons when we check in with our weather watchers because down in Rensselaer, temperatures all day have been on the mild side with 52 degrees with a thunderstorm from Cheryl and Mike Sopkow. So they've had damp, stormy weather today. Their dew point is 52 right now. Then when we look to the north on the other side, the other season, Linda in Lake Villa, 34 degrees right now with some chilly rain. She said rain has been heavy at times, bone chilling cold with a wind chill of 27 degrees. Wow, temperatures certainly were struggling today. 40 degrees. That was it for our official high today after starting with 38. We barely moved. Normal high is 54 degrees. Well, we could see an evening storm chance in that warm sector, mainly for northwest Indiana. On the Illinois side, it's fog and rain this evening, but once the cold front passes, the fog moves out. Out, rain changes to all snow, and then everybody has those gusty northwest winds that will take over behind the system. So let's track it out for you. Through 6 p.m., thunderstorms from Valparais, Valparaiso to Rensselaer. Then by 8 o'clock, we're going to see along the Wisconsin border, the rain change to snow. And by midnight, all of that snow will start to move into the airports and throughout northwest Indiana, changing the thunderstorm threat to snow by daybreak. And during the day tomorrow, we're dry. But again, temperatures struggling, only the middle 30s for daytime time highs. Snow amounts well we expect the most along the Wisconsin border an inch or two possible. Otherwise we'll see minor amounts but maybe some light lake enhancement for Valparaiso and for Laporte. It's 38 degrees. Winds are still north northeast at 17 so it's 35 in Waukegan, 39 in Gary. Rensselaer dropping now just a bit to 48 degrees as that rain moves through. Look south of the area though 66 in Indianapolis. That's where the storm center is and just ahead of it powerful thunderstorms moving to the east through Indiana and through Ohio with cold air bringing snow to the Twin Cities and into Iowa tonight. So the severe outlook is a moderate risk now for southern Indiana through Bloomington over to Cincinnati and Dayton. Our southeastern portions of our viewing area into northwest Indiana still could see that storm threat through about sunset. But otherwise, we have the winter weather advisories north of us, the tornado watches south of us, and now we just have chilly sprinkles in the middle. But again, it's going to be changing to snow. So thunderstorms are starting to pull away from from Jasper County and it's going to be chilly tomorrow as high pressure will move into the picture and then during the day on Thursday and then next system comes in. Look how we're staying on that chilly side. So for the first pitch for the Sox opening day 37 degrees with rain and snow showers. Winds will be out of the south at 10 miles per hour for that. We don't even really recover here as we reach into the weekend. Again, our normal high is 54 degrees, but we're going to stay in the upper 30s through the weekend and even early next week with rain showers on the way for Monday, 43 degrees for the high temperature. Well, meteorologist Ed Curran is live in the mobile weather lab on the Mag Mile looking long range to see when it will actually feel like spring, Ed. I'll tell you what, I can verify for you that we're definitely on the cold side of town. A temperature out here is very cold. It does not feel like spring. And you know what? It's not going to feel like spring anytime soon. As we take a look at our 10 day temperature trend, we look at the normal line going from 54 degrees up to 58 degrees over the next 10 days. And we're nowhere near it for about the first eight of those 10 days. It'll take all that period to claw our way back to nearly normal. So we stay very much on the cold side here in Chicago over the next 10 days. And here at the old water tower, we're looking at cold, raw temperatures out here. With a strong wind gusting up to 16 miles per hour, looking at a temperature of just 38 degrees. That northeast wind, as I said, gusting to over 16 miles per hour. It is a raw day on Michigan Avenue. Ed Curran, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica. Yeah, messy out there. Thank you, Ed. Nice to see you.